some big hair. <laughs> Huge. It's doing work. So am I. Yeah, cool. I think you three are gonna be fun. Oh, we're always fun. All right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, fun, fun time man? Jack. And you, sir? Matt. And another four letter word, please. <laughs> Sam, three. <laughs> Sam goes, oh no, three, Sam. <laughs> I don't fit in, I wish I had another letter. <laughs> Hello, hello Melbourne, how are you? Hi. Uh, I am your host for this evening, my name is Susie Youssef. Um, when I get on stage there's a little bit of a like, oh, what's, what's, what's that SBS factor? What's going on there? What's, <laughs> what is that? What's, what's, what's that about? Um, and the weird thing is, like the weird thing is, I, I don't feel very Lebanese. I, I, I don't. I, I, um, like, I don't think I sound very Lebanese-y. Like, obviously, it's literally all over my face. But, um... <laughs> I've just never really felt very Lebanese-y. Like, I don't think my family even act very lebanese We're not into bum bags or gangs or anything, so, um... <laughs> it's funny, it's a weird thing. When I was 10 years old, every single Saturday morning, I would watch Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Every Saturday morning. Not very lebanese it's just a thing that I did. And I did that with my sister T, my favourite sister. T and I would watch Willy Wonka, but like, we're not martyrs. You can't watch that show without eating chocolate, right? But I have a strict Lebanese Catholic mother and she would not let us eat chocolate unless it was a religious holiday, like Easter, right? But then she would go and hide chocolate around the house and she would forget where she put it and then it would go off and then no one would get to eat it because that's what Jesus would have wanted. <laughs> And so I would get up on a Saturday morning, I'd start racing around the house looking for chocolate and we would never be able to find it and we would have to just sit on the couch and eat whatever we could find. But one Saturday morning, mum and dad went to a wedding and Terry and I would like jump up and we run through the house, we're climbing cupboards, we're looking through shelves, we're trying to find this chocolate. I've already put the VHS in. VHS, surely you're not that old. I know, it's unbelievable. Um, <laughs> but it's true. So I put the VHS in, went running around like crazy. We can't find any chocolate. I just go and sit on the couch to start watching the Candyman do his creepy songs. But T doesn't give up. So T goes into the pantry and she gets a jar of what looks like small lollies, but it's just a jar of chickpeas. It's a bit Lebanese. She comes and sits next to me on the couch and she gets a handful of them and she gives them to me and she's like, yeah, just like suck them and then swallow them. I'm like, what? They're awful. They, taste aw they don't taste like anything. They're, kind of, they're very hard. I don't like those at all. She's like, you get used to it. And we did. <laughs> so we're just like getting into this kind of like popcorn of the Middle East style situation, right? We're just, eating, we're just trying, just doing whatever we can. And then by the time that Violet Beauregard starts to bloat like a giant blueberry, we are both kind of bloated ourselves, like very, very bloated, sweating quite a bit. Because we didn't know this at the time, because we're not very Lebanese. We didn't know that chickpeas, when they're heated up, expand to four times their size. By that part of the movie, we had eaten the whole jar. And we were like writhing around and cramping and in pain. We're totally freaking out. And by the time mum and dad get home, we are like in tears, like clutching ourselves, just crying on the floor. And mum opens the back door, sees an empty jar of chickpeas, sees us both bawling our eyes out. And she goes, what's wrong? And I'm like, you hit all the chocolate, that's what's wrong. Like just bawling, bawling, bawling. She sees all of that, she adds it up, she grabs us, puts us in the car and races us to the hospital. As soon as we get there, she goes to explain the situation to the triage nurse and she just puts us both in a shower. And I'll never forget as a 10 year old going, why are we getting in a shower? And then the doctor said something that I didn't quite understand, but he was laughing and he goes, because the situation is about to get multi-directional. <laughs> and then he gave T and I an injection and we're holding onto each other. I'm in and out of consciousness. And even though I, I don't feel very Lebanese, there is nothing more Lebanese than um, shitting hummus. <laughs> and I just thought that's a good way to introduce myself tonight. <laughs>